got into racing that uh, probably 12, 13 years ago. I used to motocross right out of high school for 10 years and did that actually for us where I made my money. And Steve Page is a motocrosser, so I was at Sarasota, Florida, I was, you know, where I live. And just happened to see him and they mirrored me from motocross and then basically he gave me my first break and raced with him for three years right, at, right when we first started and we separated for six or seven years. I've been back with him four years in a row again, so probably 80% of my racing career has been with Steve Page. Yeah, I came and watched a few races and I got the I can say he gave me my first break and he didn't have to do that. He was already a, a national champion at the time and took a chance with me the next, you know, couple years after that and uh, ended up here we are today. You know, we've won multiple uh, national championships and world championships and Steve Page is the guy that gave me my first break and that's, you know, here we are today, doing very well. Now, I've been racing now probably 11, 12 years and I've done all the national circuit forever. You know, that's all I've done. And each year I go, all right, I'll maybe race a year or two more, but you know, this is so much fun, and like I say, it's such a adrenaline rush, and I, I'll probably keep, I don't know, man, I'll probably keep racing until I just get burnt out, and I'm not even close to burn out. Every time I think I'm getting close to burn out on the off season, man, I'm so ready to come back in here, it's a joke. So that'll be a while. Joey, how are you doing, buddy? I'm doing fine, thank you. Thank you for coming out here today. Now, where, where are you based out of? Uh, the team's out of uh, Fort Myers, Florida. I'm out of actually Sarasota, Florida, and uh, we've got a pretty big team. We're here, man. We're ready to go. Now, when you say a pretty big team, how big is your team? Uh, we run the Super Cat 850 class, which is one of the biggest classes in OSS. Uh, we have a, you know, we have a NASCAR hauler. We have, uh, you know, we have a big hauler that pulls the boat. So we got we're one of the bigger teams out here. We uh, wow. We got probably uh, eight or nine guys on the crew, so wow, that's pretty big. That is very big. Now, now, Joey, tell us a little bit. We were talking earlier with Ron about when you got a day like today, and the and the water's a little choppy, and you got a few a few swells out there. You're the throttle man. It, it makes, from what he was telling me, it makes your day very difficult. Oh yeah, I tell you, it gets it gets real tough out there. And it's, you know, we call it getting bumpy out there. We call them bumps. You know, when the swells yeah. come up and. Uh, and yeah, we got a lot going on. We got the trim tabs. We got a tunnel flap. I have, uh, you know, we have ballast system in the t in the front of the boat to probably the level of the boat out a little bit. So if we don't take a, we call it a fire, where we stand the boat up and either flip the boat or stuff it and tear the nose off of it. So there's, you know, the whole attitude of the boat. If you can get it flying straight, I mean, you can go real fast. And if not, you can be in big trouble. Now inside the boat, how many people are there? Just two. There's a driver and the throttleman. The driver and the and you've got to be working the driver and the throttleman together. Yes. Because as you're coming up out of the water, you throttle back. Correct. And you, so you got to make sure when you hit the water, you're full throttle yeah, out. Yeah, going back. Yeah, you want the boat, you know, you don't want to over rev the motors. I mean, they got limiters on them and stuff like that. But you just, you know, the drives take a beating with that. And like I say, you got to be in sync with your driver, especially going into turns. I mean, you know, we're going into turns 135, 138 miles an hour, 140, Holy cow. whatever. And so... You know, I mean, it's just, it's actually NASCAR on the water, and it's a lot, it's a lot wilder going on. I mean, it's a lot no of stuff kidding. happening. I know all of our listeners are saying, are begging me to ask, have you ever been involved in one of those uh, spills? We've seen the highlights, or I guess you call them highlights, maybe low lights on TV. You ever been involved in one of those? Oh, yeah. Uh, two or three of them. I've, uh, really? St. St. Clair, Michigan, barrel rolled the boat on the last lap. I was out in the lead, and uh, the guy was running on my hip and told the guy, not, you know, my driver not to turn, and he turned a little too quick, and we just... Bill rolled it there, you know, everybody got out okay. Uh, Sarasota, Florida tore the nose off the boat, stood it up like I was talking about, running too loose, and just literally ripped the first half of the boat in half, tore the nose off the boat. Uh, Corpus Christi, not last year, the year before, out in the lead, two right. laps to go, running right at 120 or something through the turn, and the uh, boat hooked a little bit and did a complete 360, went along the bottom, ripped everything off, and still landed right side up, but, you know, wow. knocked the driver out, ripped everything off the boat, but yeah, that's, that's, that's part of racing, though. I mean, that's what you go through, and you got to get back up and go again, so. No, oh, definitely not the money. I mean, it's just, it's just I'm a very fierce competitor, you know. I play a lot of tennis. I do national tennis tournaments and stuff. When I'm not doing this, I'm playing tennis. I just, I love to compete, and uh this is a very, like I say, it's a very intense sport, and uh, and I just I, I thrive on it. I love it. The wife, the kids, you know, this been, you know, they've been with me doing it for shoot as long as I've been doing it, 12, 13 years, and the motocross days, Priscilla's with me for the whole time there. I mean, it's it's been a family sport type deal for us forever. This this is one big family. I mean, we all help each other. You know, people in our own class, we'll get propellers too, and 
you know, make sure their boats are right. I mean, every, all the officials, you know, we all are, you know, at the end of the day, we all go home friends and all that stuff, but out on the course, you know, we're very competitive, but this association, I've raised APPA, and, uh, you know, they're all great. I mean, they're all very good, but this is a little tighter knit situation where it's just like we're all great buddies and friends, and like I say, when we compete, it's, it's a whole different thing, and at the end of the day, we're, we're best buddies again. I've raced uh, Super V, uh, couple cat outboard classes, triple engine classes, twin outboards, uh, cat light, and I'm currently now in a supercharged 850 class. So I've probably raced four or five different classes in my career. I watch the onboards, I'm amazed myself, I'm telling you, I'm sitting there going, oh my god, this looks like we're relaxing there. It is nothing, I guess looks are deceiving because there's nothing like that. I mean, what's going through your head and what's, what you're doing at the time, I mean, it, it gets really intense in there. But yeah, the onboards act like we're just taking a ride. Oh shit, watch out. Watch out to the right. I got him, right. I got him, I got him, I got him, I got him. To the right, they're all I right got beside, I got they're right beside us here, watch I out. I got him, I got him. Okay. He's Just cool, they're right. He's cool. I got him. I'm gonna cut inside, right? Yeah. Watch out. Get it. Let's get it. Alright, he's all yours. Get away from these guys over here, let's go. There we go, yeah. Fuck, it ain't running, I'll tell you uh, that. It ain't, that's all right. We'll, we'll work it, we'll, we'll work with it, all right? That's it, watch to the right. I got it, I got him. Okay, let's go. I remember we got that hole down here. Here we go, let's catch him, here we go. You stay with it here. Give me some right, yeah. Okay, got some right. Hit it. I'm gonna jump in on this pen. Yeah, right. I Here yeah. I go. Going right now. Yeah, I'm gonna pull you down a little bit. Bottoming it takes care of the attitude of the boat, the speed of the boat, you know, the conditions. I mean, you, you, there's a lot of stuff going on. You want their shirt? You want outside? Yeah. Right here. You're good. Right there, stuff. Right okay, there. there we go. Stuff. You just don't put the throttles down and go. I mean, you got to okay. make sure the drives are in good shape when you when you go to turn the boat or you can spin out. I mean, it's just there's a lot more. It's a, it's a lot tougher than in people hang them. It's like real real tough. See, if we could run like this a little faster. Yep. We'd be right. That was a nasty bump there. That was. That was a bumpity bump. <laughs> it's a rough riding bitch, isn't it? Uh, I just went in the limp and again just when I started to catch these guys. Shit. Yeah, hey, that was a nice fire. That was a good fire. That was a fire. You all right? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. My fucking eyes are about squished. This is a rough freaking ride, I can tell you that. Woo! It's fucking beating the shit out of us. Yeah, this it's a lot more intense. Well, it's so intense in the boat. It's I mean the adrenaline's there. I mean, you know, you're making moves in 140, 150 mile an hour. That I mean, it could cost you your life. So it's a hell of a lot more going on with people laying, and it's you know you got to communicate well with the guy you're racing with. So you know it's uh, it's it's nothing like people think it is. You know, it's just you hit, you hit bumps, you know, it all depends on the conditions and, you know, only difference between motocross and the boats, you get to sit down and relax. You don't have to be as good a shape as you were in motocross days. It's, uh, it's, that's the whole thing. It's just, you're going a lot faster and it's just, it's just, you're talking about adrenaline. I mean, I, I, I can't wait to get in the boat every time we're in it. So, I mean, that's how much fun that is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my way is, uh, I'm screaming and yelling at him. He's yelling back at me. We're, we're throwing those four letter words at each other all the time and so a lot of times you probably won't yet use much of our on board but you know we we just you know we both think the same and he's a super competitive and we both react at the same time actually when I, when the intercom if it breaks every now and then we run a great race without communicating them. We know, i know what he's going to do he knows what i want to do so it, it works out very well There I was, 
sitting on the starting line with me and Steve Page, and all of a sudden, man, the green flag drops, and we're going, holy, here we go. I mean, and then it's intense for the next hour, and then it's over with, and you're giving each other high fives if you had a great day, and if not, you're doing the other thing, but it's unreal.